The company deals with identification and safety in underground mining plants for coal and copper mining. It ensures the quality and speed of adaptation to specific requirements. Thanks to which, we can stay ahead of the competition and be more adapted to the needs of customers concerning the system that they plan to implement or regulations that impose specific duties on them. There are very few companies in the world like ours. We work in a niche, specializing in several different products. One of them is the system of locating people, the underground personnel. We also have collision avoidance systems, or wireless transmission and data acquisition systems. These are very specialized tools, where there are very few similar companies in the world. Depending on the system, you can count our competition on the fingers of one or two hands. I visit 3D printer shows. Recently, I was on one of them, in Kielce, on a motorcycle. There, for the first time, I met a low-budget SLS Center at Lisa 3D printer. Large powder printers are costly and beyond any budget of the most reasonable smaller companies. I told the boss, the investor, that it would be beneficial for us and we need to have such a printer. Certainly, the production process would have become simpler, shortened, everything can be improved, changed and adjusted in such housing, and thus the final product is obtained. Then, you only need to build a metal injection mold, which costs a few thousand dollars. There are about five details in this phone, each of which must be in a separate form. The costs are sky high. Without such prototyping and accepting the finished product, it would be challenging for companies like ours to obtain an innovative product in such a short time. Three D printing has revolutionized the way small R and D companies like ours handle the possibilities and implement complex systems for a relatively small market. Właśnie dla niewielkich firm, właśnie realizujących systemy skomplikowane dla stosunków. Very low production series and a large number of prototypes have always been an enormous challenge. We have received the approval from a client who said that the final phone might look like this prototype. After acceptance, we move to the certification stage of this phone, also for hard coal mines. We do ATEX certification for this device. Such prototypes work very well as thermal models because of the requirements for the heating of the element or the the power that can be released is significant. It must all be tested, certified. All these elements are printed, usable, durable, and they work.